Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So today we are going to look at another medium level problem from LeetCode. The problem number is 138. The name of the problem is copy list with random pointer. So it has a quite a long description. So let's check it. A linked list of length n is given such that each node contains an additional random pointer which could point to any node in the list or to null. Okay. Uh, construct a deep copy of the list. The deep copy should consist of exactly n brand new nodes, okay? Where each node has its value set to the value of its corresponding original node, okay? Got it, okay. Both the next and the random pointer of the new node should point to the new nodes in the copied li list such that the pointers in the original list and copied list represent the same list state. None of the pointers in the new list should point to nodes in the original list. For example, if there are two nodes x and y in the original list where x dot random points to y, then for the corresponding two nodes x and y, the copied list x dot random should point to y. Okay. Return the head of the uh, copied linked list. The linked list is represented in the input output as a list of n nodes. Each node is represented as a pair of value random index where val equals to an integer representing node dot val random index the index of the node range from 0 to n minus 1 that the random pointer points to or null if it does not point to any of the node your code um, will only be given the head of the original linked list okay and they have given some example so let's understand this example in little details so here i have a uh, value so these are each nodes right these represent one node so each of the node uh, like a linked list has a value and it has a pointer to the next node but it has a random pointer as well which can point to any node in the linked list including null and self as well so as you see over here that uh, in the, the first node points to a null the second uh, node's random point to the first node so it might point anywhere it can it has no fixed order it can go anywhere and so what do we need to do we are supposed to do a deep copy of this linked list so we should be returning exactly a clone of this uh, list, which is a deep clone. So deep clone means uh, when I uh, uh, create this random, this random should not go and point back to the original list. It should remain in the same list. So th that is the problem all about. So yeah, this is the problem all about. Do give it a try. There are a different type of solution available for this kind of problem. Is a linear time solution with constant space solution, some naive solution. So do give it a try before you check out the solution that we discuss here. I plan to create multiple videos on this one, uh, at least discussing two of the solution, two of the most optimal solution that I have in mind for this problem. So let's uh, move over to the board and check out how the solution looks. So here I have taken an example and uh, over here you can see that uh, each of the node has three boxes. The first one uh, contains the value, the second one contains the random pointer and the third one contains the next pointer. So over here you can see that we are pointing the next pointer to the next node and the last node is pointing to null and the random 7 is pointing to 5, 12 is pointing to 8, 4 is pointing to himself. Uh, 5 is pointing to 12, 8 is pointing to 7. So I have created this list and we are going to look at how we can solve this. So when you, uh, so first let's understand what is the biggest problem? What What is the problem that we are trying to address over here? Okay, so what if we do a copy of the link, link list that we generally do? So what is the problem with that? So the problem is that, uh, let's say I start creating the li list. So let's start creating the list. So let's say this is the first node that I have created which corresponds to this one. So what I'm going to do over here is I am going to copy the value from this node, right? Now, what happens is seven points to a random node, which is not yet created in the new list, right? Which is yet to be created. So where do I point this? Where do I point this? This, this node over here, the next node, where do I point this? I have not created this linked list as of now. So let's say I create the normal linked list. Let's not, uh, so let's look at the solution, how we can approach this. So let's say I start creating the uh, list. So I create the next node. I, I am not creating the uh, pointers as of now. So I'm just constructing the nodes over here and I'm trying to put the value and the next pointer. That's it for, for the time being. Okay, so let us create that. So what do we do over here? We copy the value 12. And what we do is we establish a link between these two. 
right and i put the uh, null to the last node so how do we uh, populate the random pointer now so if i start iterating it all over again the old list so let's say this is my old list so let me put the names over here right so i have created this list but now how do i from seven how do i know that i have to point it to the node five right seven is seven's random is pointing to five how do i know that and how do i locate that five over here so i should i start all over again looking for five so if i do that that's going to give me a very bad complexity right so for each of the node over here i have to traverse this ent entire linked list from start to the bottom so i find i get a five from this node say i search for five and i find the five and i put this link i get a 12 and i start all over again starting from the very first node and look everywhere where do i get a eight so 12 is pointing to eight right so i search for eight and i do that so this makes the algorithm very inefficient right so basically for each of the nodes you for each of the nodes you are doing a search all over again so the complexity would go ahead and hit to a order of n square right for each of the node over here you are traversing this entire list so this has n nodes and for each node you are traversing the full list again so it's a n square time complexity we are getting so how, how can we improve this one how can we uh, solve this problem so let's say when when we are building this list over here so this is the first pass that we are building the list over here. So at that time, let's say what we do is we create a map. And which holds the node to node. What does this map contain? So this map basically contains when I create this node, when I created this node, who is my counterpart in the new node? I'll be storing that, right? So let's say we put some address to these nodes. Uh, like since they have the same value so uh, or let me just distinguish them with color so what I'll do is I will store a blue 7 as a key and the value would be a yellow 7 right so this is the pair that we are storing 7 to 7 but do remember they have a different address right because it's a new node that we have created over here only for 12 we are going to do the same thing we are going to put a yellow 12 mapping over here Again for four. So this is we are we are populating this map when we are creating this list, list itself, right? But we are not uh, taking an extra iteration for this one. So we'll start iterating this uh, uh, the old list. Say it's pointed by a uh, variable n. So what I'm going to simply do is I am going to use my lookup map over here, the one that I, that we have created over here. So I am just going to tell him that map give me n's random. So n is pointing to 7, right? And let's say this list is denoted by n1, right? So n dot random is denoted by the node 5, right? And now when I do a map dot get, so when we do this operation on this node, map dot get of n random, What do we get? So if you see this map, so five will give me that new five, right? That mapping that we have created. So we'll get this five, this yellow five over here. So what we are going to do is we are going to set n1.random equals to that new five that we have got. So what will essentially happen with that statement is this node over here will, will basically this uh, so basically what will happen is we will establish the same mapping that we have over here right so you can see that we have replicated that relation so now let's wait for one more node the rest all will follow so let's say for n also we do the same thing right so n points to 12 n dot random which is a constant time lookup points to 8 and when we do a map dot get on uh, this random so what does 8 have yellow 8 and we put that yellow 8 to establish the relation between 12 and 8 so what will happen is we are going to put this relationship back so same thing will happen for 4 4 points to itself right so if 4 points to itself then what is going to happen is we are going to get a 4 for 4 and we are going to point it back so again so for 4 what will happen is it will point to self 
and if you if a particular node has a null mapping also in that case also we are going to have that null mapping only in place just just for your example over here so let's say i have a single node um, let's say i have a couple of nodes over here so there are two nodes so this guy's random points to null and this guy's po random point to this guy and this guy point to this guy and let's say this is one and two so when we create this mapping one will point to one two will point to two so two's next <coughs> so two's random or once uh, so once random what we'll get is a null and when we do a lookup using map.get of a null and null is nowhere in this map what we are going to get is a null back from the map because this mapping does not exist so we are going to put that null into uh, the new newly created node as well so for null we don't have to explicitly do anything it will be established by itself so first you are creating this list without the random pointer right so you are so let's put down over here the steps so first thing clone the list without the random pointer right create the lookup map and so these two are i have written with the same color because they are they'll be done as a part of the same iteration so this will be done in the iteration one now comes the second part so you use the lookup map so we are going to iterate it again so iteration iteration two this one is going to be so what will happen is we have a order of n for this entire list traversal creation and this is your runtime right and you are also going to take up some space and what is that space all about you are going to take that order of n space so if there are n nodes there will be n entries in your uh, in your map which you are going to use for the lookup right and here runtime is again going to be order of n and space we are not taking any extra space so not applicable right so this is how it's going to look like so again order of 2n it will be your runtime and your space will be order of n so this is as you know that the constant doesn't matter over here so we are going to cut this off and we can simply say that both our runtime and our space complexity is order of n so we are going to go over to go over to the lead code and quickly check out the check out the solution so as discussed the first thing that we need is a map and it will it will store nodes so both the key and the values are nothing but nodes and we are going to co call it lookup and let's say this is a hash map right so we have our lookup map ready over here and uh, what i'm going to do uh, is i am going to create a new head for the new list and uh, let's say this is a new node <coughs> we are not going to return this so basically what we can do is uh, rather than calling it new head i can call it a fake head so this is a, just a fake node and the entire list will be appended on its back the new list so what i'll be doing at the end is i am going to return the fake head dot next okay so basically we are going to create a node this node is going to point to the old list so it's going to point to the head and and we are going to have a new node as well which will point to the fake head right so next what we are going to do is we are going to iterate over this uh, old list until we get a null so until uh, the end of the list basically we're traversing the entire list and to create node every time so let's call it temp and we are going to use the old nodes value right and it will point to new nodes next so this is where we establish only the next uh, relation to the next pointer not the current random pointer this will be pointing to your temp and also we are going to populate the lookup map so we are going to put the node and the new node the corresponding mapping so this will ensure that we have this uh, this thing established properly okay so once we are done with that what we are going to do is we are going to do a node so we have to iterate this node right to the next node so that's what we are doing so we are just pointing it to the next so this is new node this is time the relationship is established now time should become the new node so let's do that also so new node is equals to temp so we are done with our first iteration where we have built the lookup map and we have created the uh, list with the next pointer uh, now we have to establish the random pointer part so again let's initialize it back to uh, the same value 
and we are going to iterate again with the same condition while node not equals to null and uh, and uh, what we are going to do is for the new node we have to set the random pointer in place so we are going to call the lookup map and do a get and we should check with the old nodes uh, random right to get that value so we are passing that and getting it and now what we need to do is to increment both the list right so we have to do node dot next as well as new node dot next right and at the end fake head so we are removing this and just passing the next one to it so this is the code all about so just uh, let's run and see um, there could be some errors <laughs> so we'll fix them and move on okay so one big mistake new node we are putting the new node over here right so new node is assigned in a late state so what we'll do is we'll change it to temp or otherwise we could move this statement up also before this line either one is fine so let's run it and see again yep so our answer has been accepted and uh, let's submit and check for a broader range of test cases well it has been accepted and we have a zero millisecond faster than 100 percent of the submissions over here so that's a pretty uh, decent thing order of n linear time solution with the uh, in terms of both space and runtime and um, and i'm going to create a video uh, sooner uh, maybe today itself wherein we are not using this order of extra space as well so um, so maybe today i'll be creating another video on the same topic and what we are going to do is we will avoid this so now what we have achieved is order of n order of n so there is a possibility that we can have it in constant space as well so we'll have a solution wherein we'll look at a solution wherein we'll be using no extra spaces the solution is going to be tricky you can try that as well uh, mean in the meantime the video is published and uh, think of a solution that uh, how, how we can come up with the same that's a very pretty interesting solution it's difficult to present something like that during an interview so i would recommend having a solution like this wherein the solution is very simple very neat very clean and very easy to explain as well so uh, during interviews it's always recommended that you go ahead with a solution that you can finish within uh, 30 minutes of your uh, interview time talk about complexities run times and space complexities throughout the interview have some interaction with uh, your interviewer so this solution fits into that space wherein we are not using much of um, space also we are just using order of n space but definitely i'll make a video wherein we are using the constant uh, extra space in order to come up with the solution so yeah that's all from this video so i will jump over to another video to create the solution without using any extra spaces the one that i have mentioned over here right so i am going to work on that and come up with that um, uh, by the time this video is published maybe the other video will be available in couple of hours time i will put a card into this video at itself over here somewhere over here and also put a link in the description so that you can refer back to that uh, and uh, yeah that is all from this video do let me know what you think about the solution i feel this is a pretty cool solution a very neat clean and simple solution but i would like to hear from you guys what do you guys feel about the solution and uh, yeah see you very soon again uh, do uh, do like subscribe comment and uh, keep supporting the channel thank you thank you and have a great day see you soon bye bye